Hey guys, so I decided to do another vlog video for you guys because you seem to enjoy my vlogs and it's just gonna be a random daily vlog. I think I'm gonna skip breakfast because my mom uh, said that she would come over at lunchtime around noon. So I'm gonna do yoga, clean up a little bit and then um, after that she's gonna come over, I'll make some lunch for us. So we'll have lunch together and then coffee and my banana muffins that I baked yesterday. Let's do some yoga. I'm gonna do yoga with Madeline Shaw because I love her so much. Her yoga is like very uplifting and energizing and I'm gonna leave a link down below to her YouTube channel. I'm just looking through the window because I'm so mesmerized by the snow. The snow is back and it's snowing very slowly. It's all white outside. It's so beautiful. A very beautiful way to start your day, seeing such beauty outside. So I don't have a lid for my frying pans at home. I'm gonna use my plastic chopping board. Hopefully nothing will happen to it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it simmer for half an hour or so on a very low heat. So I saw that my mom is here already and I wanted to make us lunch these chicken wings and turkish rice so they're already marinated i don't know maybe i can do it very quickly this shouldn't take long at all the rice is done. <laughs> My mom is analyzing my Instagram captions. Again, kept the water. No, damn. What could you do? 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 What could you do?
Kelip, žino, kiek tave jie yra ar moteriškumo gal, ar moterų, kada, nesudaužam gal. Daug ar stipresnė gal. Nu, tai kiekvienam žmogui yra žmona, mama, sesuo. Jesus, Marija. Ani para. Ai, mama. Su tavim yra kūrinos vargas. Aš nusiteikus tau ko esu sėdintas optis. Visai nevaizdelis atrodo. Iš tyžus kiseneris, bet veganis. Mums atmės jau paluk sakė, melt it snowman without its feet. O, jūsų pipo impo. O, o, jėme. Tris, keturi. Aba. Kaip tu vieną apverti? Nežinau. Tai kaip tu žiūri, palauk? Taip tu žiūri iš onų? Ne, čia gal pasiheis. Taip, o ne? Na, kraivai. Aš taip buvo žiūr. Nu, maliaks. Tada gerai. Matau, ne, žiūrėjau. Tai dabar rimuoti rimuoti čia. O, kiek tu čia tu įsitikai. Tai va, galvoju važiuoti, man reikia žvakės torą nusipirkti. Į tą ant lango žvakybę, žinai. Yra labai gražios. Labai rimėsio. Rimėsio? Mhm. Tai tas popieris eina į patį antrą aukštą ir į rūs visur su lipučkiai išklokia, ką tu kasto. Ir tai nebūtų. So that's gonna be our lunch. to a grocery shop in a minute because I need to buy some milk, yogurt, fresh coriander, some peas for the recipe that I'm gonna make today for dinner. So yeah, just gonna pop to a shop around the corner and it's snowing so beautifully today. So yesterday I flipped through Madeline Shaw's book, A Year of Beautiful Eating. Um, I love her Ready Steady Glow book, that's my favorite, and this is, uh, I got this one, I think last year, but I have never cooked anything from it yet, so um, last night I flipped through it to see what I could make, so I've decided that today I'm gonna make this carrot pea and coconut curry, so I just need to buy some peas and then I do have rice left over from the pilaf that I just cooked. Just a little bit of rice, it's like one portion. So I'm gonna have that with the curry this evening. It looks really, really good. And then some other ones that I've marked that I wanna cook. Some other time, it's immunity proof chicken and ginger soup, oregano and thyme, spiced beef stew. Or another option is this, spicy bean stew. Oh my god, her recipes are incredible, so yeah. The snow is melting. It's full of snow outside, it's amazing. 
So I got this Molisana gluten free penne. I usually get Molisana like dark whole grain penne, but I decided to try out this uh, gluten free one which is here, I already bought it, but they had an offer on it, that's why I bought another um, bag of it. I'm not gluten intolerant, I'm totally fine with it, but you know how after pasta you feel really heavy? So I thought maybe this would be lighter on the stomach. I had it um, with pesto already and it was really good. Then I bought a box of red rice. This is so nice, I love it, I've been having it for years, it's really good with like beef um, or shrimp like here in the picture. It just tastes different to, you know, your usual rice. Then I got frozen peas for the curry that I'm gonna cook tonight. Coriander also for the curry. Um, then I got this uh, organic dark chocolate. 57% cacao, it's with uh, cherries and almonds. I had it before, it was really, really good, so I thought I would treat myself to some nice dark chocolate. I got a Greek yogurt to have with my granola, but I'm out of my granola, this much. And you guys bought all of this granola, I blame it on you, my subscribers. I cannot find it in any shop because they're all sold out. I got some milk, kefir, because I love to have it with my lunch and it's really good for your gut, um, really healthy. Then I got some curd, um, which is a great source of protein and also I think it's like a really good healthy snack to have, especially after workout or if you want something light, uh, it's great for breakfast, but I like to have it in the evenings. I haven't had it in such a long time now, but I love having curd with just like a homemade jam, a little bit of honey, cinnamon, some almond flakes. Yeah, it's like a good healthy snack. Um, I got some bread. I bought two little bags of cosmetic pads and a mini micellar water because I'm currently trying to use up my Rituals oil but it just burns my eyes so badly. Um, I needed a micellar water. Food for Louis. This is just my old gum <laughs> in there. Then I got four kiwis and then I got myself some incense because it's been ages. When I was a teenager, I used to be obsessed with incense and then I kind of got sick of it. I just didn't like it anymore. But now, for some reason, I really miss it. You can get incense in pretty much any grocery shop. So these are from India. Um, sandalwood has always been my favorite. So I got sandalwood and then I also got musk and they both smell so lovely so i'm gonna burn these and then i got this little incense stick holder okay let's move on i got some chili peppers um normally i wouldn't buy packaged ones but they didn't have any um loose ones which was very strange usually they do um then i got this tomato sauce um mixed with the herbs and some dried tomatoes that I showed you in one of my vlog videos already. This is for making lasagna. And then lasagna sheets. And then I finally found my blackberries, you guys. They're back in stock. So just to be sure, I got two bags. Um, yay! <laughs> then I got some cherry tomatoes. I got a little jar of organic coconut oil. I got come here three carrots and two red onions. Then I got some tortilla chips. I really love these chicken um, wings or shoulders that I bought last time. I think they were in cranberry sauce. Um, but this time I got them in blueberry sauce. Okay, so it's time for me to cook this carrot pea and coconut curry. I'm gonna tell you what you need for this recipe um, if you don't have the book. So, uh, you're gonna need one tablespoon coconut oil. I'm just gonna use 
olive oil, um, one red onion chopped, salt to taste, one tablespoon of mustard seeds that look like this here, um, then one tablespoon of ground cumin which I have here, one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger, where's my ginger? Here we go. Um, one red chili, chopped. Four large carrots, chopped. I have three carrots here. I have some more, but I think three will be enough because they're quite big. Look, this one <laughs> sort of looks like a mandrake. They're very oddly shaped carrots. Um, then 400 milliliters of canned coconut milk. This is exactly 400 milliliters. Um, what else? One tablespoon of turmeric. Ta da! 200 grams of frozen peas. So here I have 400 grams, so half of this bag. Um, one tablespoon of garam masala. And then lastly, one tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander. I've diced my onion. Um, here it is. Now I'm supposed to uh, put some oil, a tablespoon of oil, into my pan. By the way, a lot of you guys ask me where this marble chopping board is from and it is from Tiger and I think I got it last year, like it's not new. So if you have questions about anything in my apartment, because I get so many questions on pretty much every little thing in my kitchen, around the house, where is this pot from, where is this pan from, where is this knife from, uh, please watch my homeware hauls because I did so many of them throughout the years. So you'll see everything and exactly where I got it from. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add in the mustard seeds now. One tablespoon. This is what they look like. And one tablespoon of cumin. So about this much. One tablespoon of grated ginger. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Then carrots go. Alright. Yum. This is my thing. I love coconut with anything and everything. It smells so good. Now I'm supposed to add in another pinch of salt. So let's add a good pinch of that. A tablespoon of turmeric. So that's gonna make it all very yellow. So now I'm supposed to turn down the heat. I've already <laughs> been cooking on pretty low heat, it's on 5. Now I have to let it simmer for 20 minutes. My dinner is pretty much ready, I'm just heating up my Turkish rice that I cooked um, this afternoon. I'm so hungry, <laughs> cannot even tell you. So um, now I'm gonna add in the peas, half the bag of peas and heat them up in there. Smells really yummy. I'm gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes. Uh, add in a tablespoon of masala. That looks like a lot to me. 
And then it says chop fresh coriander for serving. It smells so beautiful. So, voila, that is my curry and rice. I think it looks pretty similar. So, cannot wait to try this because my stomach is gurgling. Today, I wanna have my first bath here. So I gave the bath a little rinse and yeah, I'm gonna run it now. In the meantime, I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea, get my chocolate and my book. So I got my book ready. I'm reading The Light Between Oceans. No? Yeah, only 30 pages in. Haven't picked up this book since Vlogmas. Um, for chocolate, I'm gonna have the one that I bought today. This black chocolate with almonds and cherries. And for tea, I'm gonna have this soothing um, lemongrass and rose hip tea from Rituals. This one. Another reason I really like this chocolate is because it says that by buying this chocolate you are supporting a very special project called Cocoa for Schools with a commitment to improve life for thousands of cocoa farmers and their families in Tanzania. Investing in education is a huge part of this program as it has been shown to be uh, the single most effective way of getting out of poverty. This tablet celebrates a school in Isaki village. It's really nice. Yum. How much chocolate do you think I can eat while having a bath? Probably half of this. That's how my bath is doing. Oh, I guess it's time to choose my bath product from this beautiful selection with the purple let's pop in this one i'm definitely gonna add some more not only one i'm gonna add this part blue heart oh that's nice yes okay the water didn't change at all it just looks cloudy and I hate these little seeds. Oh my god, they're annoying. They're gonna stick in my hair and everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna take another bath bomb that I have here. I don't even know they're like from bath um, product shops. They were gifts, so I cannot tell you where to get them, but you can get them in Acropolis. This one actually smells like perfume, so let's see. <laughs> okay, so the bath bomb didn't add any bubbles whatsoever, but my bath water turned this beautiful peachy color. I've got my candles going, my book, my chocolate, and my tea. So now it's time to take my makeup off and relax. <laughs> 